Welcome back to Let's Play L.A. Noir. This is the Silk Stocking Murder. It is a murder, if you can't tell. Because we're still in the homicide desk and all that crap. Ah, oh, Phelps. I was just discussing with Finbar oh, here. Oh, we're gonna see we're Phelps get whacked. Oh, wait, no. Who's Fin- Who's Finbar? Yeah, my real name. And you can just forget all about it. You boys have a new case. Excuse me, boys. How do you feel about buying the Brooklyn Bridge? I know it's not here in San Diego, but remember that his name yeah. is Finbar. We seem to have had quite a run of them since the Dahlia Fiend first struck. Phelps is politely trying to hint that he thinks the Mendez case is hoax. Well, young Phelps, you win some and you lose. Really some want to go to case. Denny's now for some reason. You're happy with the Mueller case, sir? Mm. Oh, is this subliminal advertising? The DA Was Denny's even around in 1947? No, I doubt it. I mean, fast food didn't reach its, you know, apex until, like, you know, the 50s or so. Anyway, if you didn't catch all that, there is a brand new murder. Nice. And we think it just might look like the Dahlia, which is the one who's been laying all these fucking naked ladies around. God damn, not another one. Ugh. All right, so we didn't get our guy. Maybe it was just another copycat. Maybe it could be another copycat because everyone copy copies cats and all that stuff, but I don't know. I just kind of feel like Harlan Fontaine is involved in this somehow. I, I, I don't know. But anyway. Uh, oh, shit. Jesus, dude. Sorry. It, Sorry. Here's, here's my theory. Here, here's my, yeah. my game theory s theory on what's going on in L.A. Noir since I don't know anything. Turns out the entire city is the Dahlia Killer! You ever think that people misunderstand what the word theory means? I mean, if it makes me famous on YouTube, I'll take it. Whatever. Speaking of famous, let's go get ourselves another street crime dispatch call! Whatever these things are fucking called. Yes, let's do it! Let's go shoot up some bad guys because we just can't start the day without our coffee, without a kiss from our wife, and murdering a fucking criminal in cold blood. Let's go get him. Yeah, excuse me. I got some murderers to kill. God, there's so many things on my checklist today. Gotta, gotta go pick up the bacon because daddy's got to bring home bacon. Kiss the wife. And, uh, oh, hey, some, some petty criminals. Let's check them out. Gotta have my after work murder, you know. <laughs> Jaywalking, eat my 45! <laughs> the Broadway Hollywood. Go to hell, Parker! No way I'm going down without a fight. Oh, he's not going down without a fight. Oh my god! Drop the weapon, hand okay, the okay. Yeah? Fuck you too! You know, I just right, realized, so there's a serial murder on the loose, and, I'm, and uh, a woman was murdered, and I'm taking this petty guy as precedent over that, so, I just... Don't mind me, I'm just gonna see if I can kill this guy, if that's alright. I mean, but, I got I got places to be, so, it's just what fucking... Well, ah, uh, oh, clever bastard, but not clever enough, die! Just get the fuck there. Alright. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Oof. He probably had some tragic backstory, and I probably would have gotten more experience had I subdued him, but, uh... Eh! I got fired today. I'm taking it out on my boss and the Sorry, rest of the King. world. Advise all units that the 211 from Mallory's Cafe is code 4. My name is Death. I have no backstory, but I am here to reap the souls of the living. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. So let's get ourselves to the crime scene. Okay. Meanwhile, at the crime scene, a rampant loading screen. A bomb goes off. Uh, oh, jeez. This is 1947. You know, I don't think bombs were that quite at the technology they would be until, like, you know, the 50s, perhaps. I mean, yeah, they, they, they made a big one, but it was about making it smaller, you know. Mechanical parts. Detectives. Placeable They're parts. Ready to start all the that show. shit. I'll take you through. Mm. Looks like okay. we got a back alley moita. 
well, uh, skip here if you want to skip the naked lady part and all that yada 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 nonsense. This is your only warning because, oh god, there she is! Oh, for Christ's sake! So I realize you mentioned that you need to skip to a certain time to skip that, but... We thought we'd best wait for you. Would anybody, especially in their teens, want to skip this part? Unless they don't like gore. Fucking Jesus! Well, you see, it's not sexualized. Well, I mean, you can argue that it's not sexualized. I mean, yeah, but it, 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 it's in a sick kind of CSI kind of way, you know? It's God. It's very scientific and very mature, and uh, you need to be absolutely professional about this sort of thing. So it's, uh, she got ugh, one on the oppo opposite side of the heart. She's got slashes all Another over the place. Oh, oh fuck that! Ah, fuck that! Ah, I knew. That's, oh uh, man, I, I just remembered that that's your that's your weakness. Uh oh, bad, dude. all of a sudden my wall is very interesting. Look at that over yeah. there. <laughs> all right, well we moved away from the finger. What we do have is half of a library card. Somebody, Antonia. And, the librarian uh, strikes again. Oh man, look at all this gore! It's so terrible! <laughs> I can't believe the scope of the terribleness at this end! Oh man, look at the library card again, it's really nice. Oh but I man, I can't believe every this! every speck of blood! Woo! Kiss the blood. Ah! Kiss the blood. The evidence in the Muller case was solid. I'm not convinced about Mendez. Best way to get away with So we keep finding the right guys. Else. But bodies still keep turning up somehow. Which means we don't yeah, have the yeah, right yeah. guy. We the MO. Well, I don't know about that. Wife and girlfriend I think we're getting the right people that puts them there. Brown. But there's still one question, one better. thread left unanswered. Four women, all murdered, all put on display, and that would be who's stringing them up no naked, no dumping them out no, here all naked and shit. Anything for us to go on, Mal? Head injuries from contact with road. Bruising from a small man's shoe. Again, with the size Further 8 shoe, so it must the be the occipital occipital same person. The the it just so happens we keep finding these killers that match up to having size 8 shoes. Are they targeted, perhaps? Lipstick appears to be a similar color to the other cases. I'll see if I can Are they down planted the somehow? Maybe a murder happens, and these are dumped in a clean and, you know, concise way. But let's take a look around the crime scene now. I don't think we should be worrying about the dead body anymore. You don't gotta look at the nasty, gross nudity anymore, but ooh, this is nice to look at. Uh, uh, let's see, it's a piece of garbage. Very nice, wholesome content, yes. Anyway, uh, don't look at it, don't look at it, don't look at it. Ah, <laughs> uh, here we go. If she took a blow to the head like the others, she was probably unconscious when she was strangled with a fucking stocking. Oh. Hmm. A silk stocking, perhaps? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, there's a blood trail here, and it, May as well it's follow the trail. oddly vibrant. This is strange. A bloody hat. And Tony. Same as a library Same card. As a library card. Ooh. Hmm. More blood. Anything in these trash cans? Hmm. Hmm. Again with the hmm and the hat and the hmm. And the crates. But the trail goes on. Hmm. It should at least. Hmm. So what if? What if? Well, what? I can go ahead and use an intuition point to give us a hands. hand here and point us in the right direction. So we're well, to you missed going. a lot of clues. Yeah, we're supposed to be going this way. Oh man, we, we got a lot to get. Anything in here? Well, where did all the clue markers go? Well, did you leave the crime scene too? Too much? I don't know. I mean, my car is there. Am I supposed to just leave because I have given it up or something? Or I just wasted that intuition point somehow because I transitioned. Oh well. Mm, okay. Well, in here we have a car. Oh, 
bit of styrofoam, at least. Very crucial to the crime scene, but more important, the woman's shoe. Ah, the shoe. The shoe. Proximity From Miss Vivian. Blood <laughs> no way is this coincidence. Mm. The trail continues on. Did we find all the clues? Oh no, we've still got more to go. We've got a trail How to How long follow. does this blood trail go? Man. On it goes. <laughs> Even Cole's remarking, it's still going. Well, looks like he started strangling her on 7th Street and didn't stop until 87th Street, <laughs> huh? Oh, he used those silk, silk stockings, tied her up to a car, and just drove. Go, went through three people's backyards, went through a drugstore, went through a pharmacy. <laughs> Hit the neighbor's dog, they completely pulled the Blues Brothers on this broad. They even went in the pool. So now we got, like, you know, oh, dry I mean, drowning to worry oh, about. I mean, up, like, bait on a hook. nobody saw this? But that's a house key on a <laughs> string, so <laughs> clearly we are being somewhere. led by somebody, somehow. Yeah, yeah, somebody's calling you out. Yeah. Yeah. Got two, five, three. Twenty-five yeah. is number three. Got it. Thanks, Legend of Zelda, for uh, Karina of Time. Oh. A fire is here. Ah. I wonder where we need to go. Where are you taking us? Well, all right. Up the fire escape we go. You know I love these. These are always so fun to mess with. Just hold up, maybe go up and down five, ten times. Yeah. Working on Cole Phelps' tap dance routine. Cole, you seem to be gyrating on the fire escape. Is there something wrong, boy? He turned like three times to go down that ladder. <laughs> <laughs> ah, pigeon coops covered in bird shit. Yeah, I really love where he's taking me. Oh, our killer's pigeon man. Uh, naked, naked dead body is really says the material, but here I am covered in bird shit. This is gross. What we have here? An envelope. This is A. Maldonado? Hmm. Empty. Where is all of this? What is going on? Us? Really wants us to find these things. Mrs. Monaldo is the name of the bird that lives well, here. Well, not only that, but uh, we did such a good job at rendering all these buildings. It'd be such a shame if we didn't have to run around them at some point. So here you go. Let's do this. Enameled and gold plated. <laughs> this is just Rockstar's cry for help. This is what Condemned didn't do. I think Condemned was all right. It was very simplistic. Well, so is this, to be honest. I don't know, there's a lot more steps to this, Marty. More, like, if a serial killer were to actually play a game with you, he would have it go beyond, like, entire fucking miles instead of just, oh, down the block and over the building, and then up this pipe, and yeah, there you go, you can figure out who I am. Well, also, there's there wasn't as much technology to be found out as a serial murderer back in the day. Nowadays, it's just like, Yep, uh, scan the fingerprints, we know who did it. Cuff them. Nah, you'd be surprised how smart people can be. One guy built an entire hotel just to kill people and store their bodies so nobody would find out. What the fuck? Trap doors, hallways that would lead nowhere. Dude! Quick bio post test. Hold from Thanks a lot. Hung up here. What's the significance? Ah, oh, touch the blood, ew! Oh God! Can can you imagine if Cole just did not like to get dirty at ew, all? Ew. No, he's, he he hunkers down over dead naked ladies. I think he can handle a blood stain or two. <laughs> and pointing out their obvious faults is like, look at those love handles, honey. Hepatitis what? <laughs> Looks as though the killer was decorating with this. Mm. Ew, man! So How many people's blood, blood is ah? Yeah, uh, we got a place. The broad's place. <laughs> and the other half of the library card. There we go. Son of a bitch wants her identified. 
This is Antonio, Antonio Maldonado. Maldonado. 712 North Hill Street downtown. Put those two together, we have her address. So, well, now we gotta make our way down, which thankfully happens in a fade to black, and here we are at our car. Oh, good. So, alright, first things first, we gotta go to her residence, see what kind of person she was, tell people what's happening, you know, see if we can gauge some suspects or if we can get some lead. You know, <laughs> detective work! That kind of shit! Yeah, let's go to detective work! Woo! Dude Hazard style! I would love it if there was a new guy on the police force, and they didn't know about the legendary Cole Phelps and his bad driving habits. See, he's used to driving on the left side of the road because of his time in Japan. <laughs> but he was there for war, I don't think he had enough time to, you know, become accustomed to the driving techniques. You don't know that. Okay, you're right. I don't know that. Then again, did they even have cars back then? I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know. They had tanks. Definitely had tanks. Whoa, excuse oh. me. Whoa, all right. Oh, I forgot those benches are impenetrable. So, benches can't be breached. Hills can't be breached. Fences made of wood cannot be breached. I, I'm just that half expecting to run in. into. I'm just half expecting to run into that tunnel like Wiley e. Coyote, you know. <laughs> I kind of want to see that now. I, I want to it's... see Cole Phelps, Wiley e. Coyote, and accordion his car. <laughs> Watch where you're driving, Phelps. <laughs> so we got another dispatch call. Let's go ahead and do that to break up the monotony. I mean, uh, we're gonna we're gonna tell someone that. Beautiful young soul has been cut short. <laughs> anyway, uh, I need to go and kill somebody before I can tell someone that someone's dead. <laughs> now I'm just seeing the Dahlia killer. He's the one that drew the, the fake tunnel. Meet me. <laughs> Never catch me, Phelps. Aha. Uh -huh. What do we got here? A group of cop killers just injured another cop. To the rear of the building, sir. Someone's going to have to climb up and take him down. Climb up and take him down. Don't let him get a beat on you like <laughs> Do you know who I am? I'm, I'm Cole Snipe from a 9mm Phelps. 9mm don't exist yet. So yeah, you're dead. Next. <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> ah, next person's a bit more further up. I'm gonna have to climb this pole. I love the music though. It makes it feel like I'm in like, you know, a drama. Will Cole Phelps make his way up the ladder in time to save the world before dinner time? You better put a black and white filter over that, because that was perfect. Da oh, you're dead. You're fucking... You're, 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 yep, you're, 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 you're dead. Nope, you're dead. There we go. That was it. You're all dead. Okay. <laughs> oh, phew. I didn't think you would make it. Didn't think you'd hide on the roof. Trust me, man. I've got adamantium bones. Except for that one time you died, but we don't talk about that. I respect the Japanese. They're a very, very kind, you know, a group of people. When I left for the war, they decided to give me adamantium bones and one of their uh, special prototype techniques as thanks for such, you know, respect and, you know, good heartfelt feelings. Anyway, I've killed a man today. Let's go, uh... Let's go to the Aldonado residence. You know, adamantium would explain why it looks like... It, it feels like... Cole is difficult to handle, like he's he's weighed down by a truck. <laughs> it's like a prequel to Logan. You know the way. You can drive. <laughs> oh, but please let that happen and then let a new Deadpool movie spoof it. Thank you. Anyway, Finbar, drive me to the crime scene, or the Aldenada residence, so I don't get distracted again. I've done enough killing for the day. Please take me to the widowed house. Just whenever that radio pops up, I just gotta... Yeah, let's do it. It'll be fun. Let's do it. That really kills the pace of this, though. Anyway. Antonia's residence. It's a pretty nice Ooh. looking... Wait, this is a boarding house. What? Uh-oh. Hmm, alright. Let's get some answers, then. Uh, yeah. Turns out it's just a cat hotel. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can I help you? 
Hello. Hello. Detective Phelps and Galloway. Does Mrs. Maldonado live here? He'd be yes, a great Girl Scout cookie uh, seller. Barbara LePentia, the owner of this boarding house. Is there a problem? I'm afraid so, ma'am. Do you mind if we come in? Is there somewhere we can discuss this? Of course. Follow me through to the parlor. So, this is her landlord. Wop your feet as you come in. Oh, wipe my feet. It's, it's uh, his wife. Okay. Uh, let's give her a quick chat. Mrs. Maldonado was found dead this morning. Dead? Oh, no. She can't be. I'm afraid she was murdered, Oh, no. We need to take a look at her things. You know, you don't I see too many it. elderly characters in Rockstar games. So Nothing I can think of. And then they're gone. That's not true. There's, there's, there's a couple few. Upstairs, last door on I guess it's just been a hot minute Thank since you. I've last seen one. We'll but be back shortly. The variety, right, Rockstar, you're, you're giving me moment. so much good stuff. Grand Theft Auto V is full of old fucks. Yeah. I mean, hell, Michael Michael gets all buddy buddy with the Hollywood producer who's like Mel Gibson or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I haven't gotten that far. <laughs> that explains it. No, I knew there was a bu bunch of middle aged losers, but I I'm talking like seventies, eighties. Probably because they're hard to render. True. I mean, I mean, the last time I did a really memorable old dude was uh, Prophet from San Andreas, and they just covered his face in a beard. Look at that. <laughs> Someone turned the place over. I love Dear. controlling the crime scene music. Oh, jeez. Someone it's broke out. Of, oh, wow. jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, broken window. I'm just going to put my hands right up on that broken glass. Step over the... Thank you. Ow, Excuse me. Ow, ow. What the what fuck we is that? Here? Well. So someone broke in using this thing instead of... Jesus. I wonder where it was taken from. It's an impressive piece of hardware. Well, it's well, not a well. crowbar, it's a flail. Anyway. Anything else around here? Here we go. A photograph. The charm bracelet wasn't among the crime scene evidence. Hmm. Is she missing a charm bracelet? I'll have to find that out later. But what else do we have here? Hmm. So Address to Mrs. Maldonado. Opening mail. Well, she's dead. She's not going to care anyway. Okay, Miss Antonia. I don't know. I don't Antonia for my previous correspondence on August seventh. I'm writing to inform you that your petition to the Superior Court of the State of California is accepted. Congratulations, Antonia. Husband, it's a divorce proceeding. <laughs> oh no! Ah shit! So we have oh, another it's... domestic dispute. Oh, it's it's not just a divorce proceeding, it's someone from the court saying yeah, okay, we can start this case really soon. So yeah, that's cool. We're gonna do the whole divorce thing going on. That's happening. Okay. Alright, alright, Finbar. You might be right. It might be the husband this time. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, let's double check with the landlord and uh, see what she says. We have some questions, ma'am, if you're up to it. Yes, detective. I'll do my best. So, any, any suspects besides the husband? husband? Okay, the husband. Sure. <laughs> she was serving him divorce. If I killed every wife to serve me papers, I'd be a mass murderer. Are you being flippant, young man? <laughs> no, man. What? <laughs> you being a piss ant, you son of a bitch? <laughs> what can you tell us about Angel Maldonado? She married him when she was 17. He Ooh, was cruel way too young. To her. Very cruel. Well, then why stay? Yeah. Sometimes you can't leave, dude. Oh, no? all right. Especially being that. as violent as he was, you know, him being that cruel, you pro he, she probably there. couldn't leave. She's probably miserable. She's probably the happiest girl in the you world that she's went? divorcing this bastard. Uh, Allegedly boy. bastard. She was a good girl, but she Then again, you know. Rat. Then again, I don't think the landlady would lie so much. You know where she but went. you would be wrong! You best keep your attitude. <laughs> Slam the evidence on the table. What do you know about this? You have some proof of what However, th this is important here, so, uh, uh, he's gonna say something here that is gonna be hilarious. So, here we go. Okay. A nosy old hag like you knows everything about the people who What the fuck? Room. Where did she go? I think she that? went to a bar. A nosy old hag. Why would you say that, Cole? Lately. This bar have a name? El Dorado Bar. Latino place on North Los Angeles Street. Well, then you're just a miserable old slag, then, aren't you? <laughs> well, 
Can you tell me about the break-in if you didn't do it yourself? You know, I bet you think you fucking did it! That can't be true. <laughs> You're being economical with the truth, Mr. You're very economical. What do you, you go to Sam's hide? Club for all those lies? God damn, you are destroying this old lady. <laughs> she is lying, though. Yeah, she is. It's like, there's no break-in. What about the fucking break-in that we just saw in there? I heard a noise in the early hours of the morning. I thought it might be a raccoon at the milk bottles. It'd be very bad for business if this news got They call you a nosy old hag because they don't call you a brainy old hag. Antonia and her God husband damn. were estranged. You were destroying yes. this lady, and she didn't even know it. She moved here after she separated. From like I, I'd like to think that Cole has a separate book where he lists all of his Antonia sick burns that he gets on people. <laughs> that was a uh, point for Phelps. <laughs> Said in that exact tone, I love it. That's Maybe one day we'll get to badge twelve forty nine. Your detective ranking in this game is just your burn notice. So we're gonna bring up the charm bracelet now. In her wedding photo, right, right. It's like, well, she has a charm bracelet here. That thing, she never wore it. But she, she never wore it. She always kept it in that wooden jewelry box. Hmm. Oh, one Thanks, and done. Man. You've been okay. very helpful. Pay a call to that husband of hers. Lock him up and throw away the cage. All Oof. right. So we gotta find the husband. I'd rather go to the El Dorado bar first, and let's see, whose car can I steal? I might as well take ours. I just... You know, I actually forgot that was your car, and I actually thought you were stealing the old lady's car. Well, we'll have fun at some point. <laughs> see, even Rusty's like, a, ru a fucking yeah, nosy, a nosy old, old hag! What the, what the fuck, dude? Sometimes you have to be firm to get the information. All right, so uh, we're gonna head to the El Dorado bar now. See if we can't get some information about Angel's old stomping grounds. Figure out the kind of person he is, so that we can get some leverage over him and figure out what kind of guy he is before we confront him. Excuse me. Pardon me. Yep. Yeah. All right. There's so much assertiveness on that. Cool. See, I'm getting better. Yep. Excuse me. I didn't say that much better, but a little better. All right, so we're gonna say our partner's a bit of a dickhead. Our partner's always a dickhead, and we're supposed to be the righteous dickhead because LA Noir is full of dickheads. Maybe because LA's full of dickheads. I think there's anything right. allegedly. Well, my car's trapped. Maybe I can jump over here. God damn it. I can't jump <laughs> over there. I thought I would. I'm trying. Damn it, it's idiot proof. But man, I can't Grand Theft Auto in this detective game. It's like a point and click adventure game, but now it's like <laughs> click and drag. <laughs> they turned off the idiot switch. But at least now oh, we got us, dude. At least we got a sexy ass convertible here. Mm, yes. That is nice. That is nice. No big deal. After a while, you. Yeah. I can go with this. Excuse me. Oh. Is he saying he's oh, been through three me. marriages? Well, why? How do you have... Would you believe I'm only 38? How do you have any possessions left? He'd see himself as a failure. A woman taking control over his life? I wonder why he drinks so much. Whoa, yeah. Sports car. Ooh. Ooh, not the convertible. Okay, there we go. Ah, here's the bar. All right. <laughs> Just driving wildly, wildly around town, hoping we'd run into it. What can I get you? LAPD. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Diego Aguilar. How can I help? You worked the bar last night? Boy, yeah. there's a lot of Spanish people Diego's here at the El Dorado bar. Night, 21 years old, Hispanic. Drinking Why is that? We have a lot of ladies like that in here. Mm. But yeah, I know who you mean. Antonia Maldonado. Oh, what did she do? She was murdered last night. Good God! Oh, shit. Do you yeah, know oh, shit. Oh, that was oh, a man. face. That was a great face. Hell no. Yes. Excellent facial night. capture. About her old man. It's a story you get used to working in a bar. She was yes, so happy sir. last night, she left a letter on the bar. A letter? I'll show you. Ooh. Hmm. Let's see here. If I don't make it back, call Two. the LAPD. Oh. Angel Maldonado by hand. 
Reading other people's mail. Ooh. Oh. He got served. He got served in his favorite bar. So now that bar is ruined to him forever. It's no longer a fun place to have all his friends. It's a place where he got served divorce papers. Ouch. Oof. Oof. All right, let's talk about this jewelry. Let's get some answers. Sheesh. Some kind of religious thing, I think. The temp guy would have more of an idea. She took the beer he served her and cried into it all night. What time did she leave? Can't say for sure. Oh Where yeah. Where did she go? Give me something or the LAPD. Where does she, she go? Where does she go? Sounds like Cole okay? is five beers in. My phone was out of order. God, <laughs> he got drunk on the vapors. <laughs> he took a whiff of some cheap tequila and he just. Uh, Woo! Uh, 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 Whoa! I'm I'm driving. I can't be. <laughs> Have your partner Maybe drive. you'd drive better if you took some. You're just a greenhorn, Phelps. Come on. Was for Dutch courage. I should try that. I should like get hammered and try driving an L.A. Noir. <laughs> Can that be the finale? I'll call it a, I'll call it a rusty playthrough. <laughs> totally down for that. Sorry. Sometimes you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. Do you want to shake my what? She attracts any interest. An extremely drunk young woman. What do you think? So she was drunk she as fuck, probably having, I wouldn't say second Thanks. doubts, but uh, she was certainly not feeling as confident no as she problem. was serving those papers, and she's probably scared for her life, because, you know, this uh, really sort of thing might happen. Do our best. Oh, wow, everybody's question. saying this what guy's a douche. Take, Mr. Aguilar? A broad nine. I have white feet. So we could rule him out. He didn't do it. Why would he? He's a bartender. The, most of those guys don't have time or the patience or really even the desire to murder a woman like that. That's right. We don't. Why would you why would you murder one of your best paying customers? They tip well. Duh. <laughs> you should know this is a bartender yourself, right? No! The phone is out of order. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Oh no! Sorry, pal, just making deliveries. <laughs> From where? Hey pal, do you have a phone? <laughs> I gotta make some calls here? quick! Yeah, sure does. The Mexes love a little slice with their tequila. Oh uh, what now? Yeah, thanks. Wait a minute. <laughs> They took the time to fully render him. I feel I, we should have talked to him about something because he visits. Hey! Uh oh, he's leaving. See you next time.